Is getting in shape and being a healthier version of yourself a state of mind? Is there a certain mindset you need to have to be able to maintain this? People always ask me, you know, when it comes to their fitness journey, is it mindset that's gonna help them push through this journey and help them actually succeed when it comes to losing weight, getting better shape, building the muscle, and just having the body of their dreams? And by definition, right, emotional and mental states don't usually endure. They're fleeting. Yes, moods stick around, but habits stick around a lot longer. And that's why I tend to focus on that. And before I even really get into it, I think most people are just searching for what would it feel like to actually have lost the weight? What does it feel like so I can reverse engineer that and put myself in a position to lose the weight? And here's the thing, I love that you're chasing a certain feeling when it comes to this journey, but I think you're doing it the wrong way. And I'll give you an example, Nicole. Nicole, when she first joined me was 497 pounds. Nicole is now 322 pounds. She lost over 177 pounds. And one of the biggest things that shifted for Nicole was, yes, her mindset. But most importantly, it's the habits and things she was doing on a daily basis. Instead of sitting down, go for a walk. Instead of eating junk, make a healthy meal. Instead of drinking soda all the time, maybe drink it once a week and then drink water afterwards. And what habits will do is make sure that you have a solid foundation, so therefore your emotions can't, you know, dictate your actions. Meaning there are some people out there who feel like they're depressed, and I get it, you know? We've all been there, I've been there but there are people that feel like this depression is keeping me here and I will never get out of it because of this depression. And again, we understand that emotion, but also there are certain people that when they get depressed, instead of staying in that state, they say, yo, I gotta change something within my life. I gotta work on myself a little bit more. And that usually gets the ball rolling from them to where it's not like you get rid of it. It's still there. There's still fucking days where I'm like, fuck, I feel this way, but I still show up to the gym. I still make sure I eat that healthy meal. I still make sure I do the things that Carl needs to do to not only get out of that state, but most importantly, just move the needle forward on my goals. Move the needle forward on building more muscle. Move the needle forward on building my business. Move the needle forward on doing the things that I wanna do. And that's the biggest thing I feel like a lot of people don't understand is, yes, it's a certain mental state, but it's the habits and the foundation that you're creating now that will lead you into building the foundation that you need to make this last, to make this stick. You know, all the time you hear people say, oh, I'll help you lose weight and keep it off. Yes, I say that all the time too. But what you guys don't understand is keeping it off, it's not just a certain mindset I'm gonna give you. It's the tools and habits and the processes and things that we did on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, that become a norm, that become second nature to you, that now you've implemented into your lifestyle that changes the game for you. The thing is, you're never clear of these emotions. I think a lot of people are getting that wrong as well too. You know, like I was saying earlier, they're, they're chasing that feeling of, how can I get rid of this feeling and implement this feeling? But that will never happen because your feelings are always ever changing. So if that's ever changing, look into your habits and set foundations there, lay them there. And over time, those foundations will propel you forward to where you wanna be. And again, people miss the mark on that. They think, oh, it's, it's this way, I feel that way. I get that, but also you're not doing anything towards it. You're not doing anything to put you first. You're not doing anything to take care of you. And that will keep you stuck. That will make you feel like there is no end to this. So yes, is there a state of mind when it comes to losing weight, getting in shape? Yes and no. The habits are where it's all at. You know, and I'll give you an example. Well, the habit of meal batching. Meal batching for me is something I've done every day and will always continue to do. It's when I take chicken, steak, rice, sweet potatoes, red skin potatoes, Broccoli, asparagus, batch cook it all. All in different containers, put in the fridge. And all I have to do throughout the week is just portion out, portion out, portion out, whichever one I want, whatever meal I wanna make, heat it up, boom. So therefore I have variety. It's not something I have to solely stick to. I can mix it up. And that for me, changed the game. Because I would say I would meal prep and not meal prep, or I would meal prep and I would only eat four or five of them and then waste two, three of them. So for me to change that, I made sure that within my routine, I meal batch to create variety for myself so therefore I have more options to stick to, to follow through with, but most important to get the goals that I'm aiming for. And for you, it could be a habit of getting more meals into a day, meaning you only eat two meals for the day and you binge eat all night and that leads you to overeating and that's why you're getting weight. So incorporate a breakfast if you're skipping it. Make sure you prep something for lunch or batch cook something for lunch or batch cook and then take something for lunch. You know, or walk to your favorite restaurant and get a healthier burrito or a healthier version from McDonald's, from Wendy's, so on and so forth. 
But at the end of the day, it all comes down to the habits and things that we do and the action steps that we actually take. Yes, I get it, we're human, we're full of emotion, but we can't let emotions just solely dictate our actions. If we do, we're never gonna truly achieve what we always wanted to achieve. So yeah, hope that answers your question for you. It's all about your habits. And if you ever need help when it comes to creating better habits, ask some free guys down below that can help you when it comes to training, that can help you when it comes to nutrition, as well as can help you when it comes to your macros. So therefore you can get a better understanding of what to do to put yourself forward, as well as I'll put a batch cook video below for you so you know how to actually batch cook and get things rolling for yourself. But with that being said, I hope you have a great day. Keep crushing it and peace.